Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Wild at Heart, where we are here with Wake and the many little spritelings that he has around his feet, and the memorial of the Green Witch herself who has actually become the deep woods that are all around us and holding at bay the never from pouring into our own world and reality. And Wake is getting used to the idea that he is actually the only one who can read, apparently, probably. And uh, he's been given a book. So we now have, let's go ahead and see, the book. The book is actually a magical tome that will expand as we explore more of the world and teach us more about what the world has to offer and hopefully guide us as we try to restore the green shield order, finding all of the missing green shields and hopefully our friend Kirby and get ready to see if we can restore the forest, which sounds kind of amazing. And it sounds like the kind of adventure that a lost kid like Wake could definitely use. So we've got information on Twiglings! The Twigling is a spritling imbued with the floral magic of the deep woods itself. Born from the various plants and trees within the woods, the Twigling has a keen ability to encourage growth in budding plants and maintain an immunity to nature-based toxins. Never the type to idle the day away, they have been observed to work much faster than the other spritling varieties, even at the very same task. More curious and mischievous than its cousins, the twiggling can often be caught dismantling non-natural formations, only to then reconstruct them as though it had a pre uh, as though it had a predilection or predilection for engineering. So their special traits are fast worker, toxic immune, and floral growth. And we have a herd of about 15, with one who I actually have accidentally stuck down in the wrong place. The little guy down there. And it looks like he actually has some paper that might go to the book. So, all right, we were told that our little spritelings might be able to do something if we remind them about their nature powers. <gasps> That's so cool, they grew some lily pads. Good job, you guys. We managed to get your little like missing buddy and they call it the book, some lost journal pages. They call it book, the ensorcelled missive of the Hermaic order of the Verdant Shield. Whoops, oh, I wanted to read that. I got too excited and started just like flipping pages. Oh my gosh, there we go. The memory of the other green shields has begun to be affected in these latest years, and when I refer to the tome with its proper, though admittedly more Daedalian name, a foggy look suddenly comes across their faces. I've decided to just tell them to refer to it as book, which seems which they seem more keen to understand. The book is a primer for my position as the scribe of this chapter of the Gre of the Deep Woods. Filled with the base knowledge of all known creatures, entities, and phenomena magical, I will supplement my copy with entries pertaining to this chapter. Oh, I wonder who wrote the book. That makes me feel really curious. Also, okay, if I'm careful. Come on, little friends. Yay! How do I get you back now? Oh, dear. Um. Uh-oh. Oh no, okay, I hope we're able to get those guys back at some point. I didn't mean to, like, lose them. Alright, meanwhile, I'm gonna have these guys work on this, these guys work on this, and I'm gonna pick up more of the Spritelings' little seeds. Here we go, pick these up, gather all of this spirit energy. I guess this is kind of more like almost spirit nectar to go ahead and feed and take care of the spritelings. I don't know how to get my little team back. Oh boy. Like how do I how do I summon them back to me? Um all right team. Separate drop items quick prep. Oh, okay. We'll have to figure out what we are going to do with that. But okay. Um what do I do with the other half of my team? I really spirit well on their own. Cause if not, oh, this this may not work very well. All right, we can grow things with them now. Oh look, they do have an affinity for all the flora. So now we can go ahead and climb up and down this spot. 
And they follow along. Good job, little guys. I think we may have left some of your, like, family in with the Green Witch, but that seems like a safe enough place to be. Okay, so what to do for our first mission? Well, I think we need to go ahead and we need to do a little bit of exploring and tracking down the other green shields. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, they're really far away. That might take us a little while to, like, find everybody. Some of them are really, really far away. Oh my goodness! Okay, well, it looks like this person is actually the closest, so maybe we'll try going over to the east? I wish we had more of our herd, though. I didn't mean to split them up like that, and I'm not really sure how to call the wayward ones back to me. Well, let's do a little exploring this way. A few over here, a few over here. There we go. I'll have some of them carry some things for me. Alright, I really want to craft a lot of stuff too, but what is this? To Wisp's Wisp Wagon. Oh, actually the green shield over here was supposed to be going to Wisp Wagon to look for an ally, so... Let's see, can I destroy that? Oh, come back little buddy! How do I get you out of the water? Oh jeez! Because this looks toxic to me, ouch! It, it is actually toxic to me. But can you destroy it, little friend? Oh no, he can't! Oh, what have I done? Oh my goodness! Little friends! Oh my gosh! Alright, I'm gonna have to figure out what to do. Oh, but I feel really badly now. I think I made them, like, sick. Oh look, he came back to me! I'm so proud of you, little buddy! I was really worried! I've unfortunately lost a lot of my... my spritelings tonight, but I think that this is just a learning curve. Oh look, there's another way to be able to go this direction. Okay. Let's go ahead and pick this up. And zip all of this together. Nice. Camp ahead. Good. Aha! Did you see that Spritelings reappear just now? Your bond with them is developing quite quickly, probably. It has been observed in special cases, if Spritelings find themselves trapped, it may provoke a translocation-like event, magically warping them back to you. That is, if they choose to cooperate. Quite independent creatures when they want to be. Fascinating. Oh good! So one of the little guys, like, transported himself back to me! Good job, little buddy! I think, I think he's good? Or maybe he's just trapped and he's dancing, oh dear. Okay, I think Spritelings, made out of twigs, and fire definitely don't work. But maybe if we come over here, and if there's a camp, I just really need to make sure I chuck my Spritelings just right. There we go. And I can walk on this now, but how do I, like, call them back to me? Oh jeez, their spirit well is covered in junk! What is this? Dang, this thing's clogged up good. Looks like it needs a strong pull to clear it. Can I do it with this? Ah, oh, wow, it's so strong that I can't even open up the spirit well with our vacuum. We'll have to try to improve it. Let's see. And here? Alright, so we're a little further in the central deep woods. The grove is over there. So that kind of helps us figure out where we're going. But I'm down to just, like, a few Spritling friends. And a small handful like this is not going to get me nearly as far as we need to go. But maybe we can do a little more exploring. Alright, good job, little guys. I guess I'll have to see where all of your buddies went. And you're getting me some mushrooms to eat, which is fantastic. So this is to the Frostlands, huh? Can you guys destroy this? Oh no! Little buddy! Oh! Did I save him? I think I saved him! Okay, so that note to self is definitely not a good place to toss them. Uh-oh. And it's starting to get dark. We'll probably want to go ahead and get back to camp soon. Alright, little friends. We're down to just, apparently, the four of you, but I'm only seeing three. And we're missing all the rest. 
Yeah, everybody else is stuck, so I think I'm going to try to find where one of the spirit walls are. And we'll see if we can put the team away and summon them again from there. It is their forest, though, so I probably shouldn't be too nervous about them being out at night. Hmm, but what else could I possibly create? I feel like Wake's presence here is supposed to really, really help out and, like, influence everybody. Oh, hey! Greatcoat! Master Wake, hello! Hey! I trust you remember your task. Yep, to gather all the missing green shields. I'm on it. Brilliant! Let us know if I or any of the other green shields can assist you. Well, I did try to talk to Litterbox and it didn't seem to go super well. Um, let's hatch some pips, I think. Or maybe let's dismiss the idlers. Whoops. There we go. Dismiss all idle spritelings back into the wild. You will lose 12 spritelings. Well, I'm gonna do it because I feel like, you know, I did sort of lose them. Alright, we'll hatch 10 pips. There we go. So now I only have 13 spritelings, but I lost a whole bunch because of my silliness, so... Alright. And then, spritling hearth. Oh, if I have a soul shard, I can upgrade the little spritling hearth! While the green shields have always held a kind and comfortable relationship with the spritelings, of late the forest creatures have been hanging around the grove less and less. The hearth was once a bustling place of joy and warmth, but now sits mostly empty. However, with a suitable structure and some cleaning, it'll be as inviting as ever. Find and bring back a giant shell to serve as the hearth's main building. Oh, I would love to do that! There's so many things that we could upgrade! Oh, like the mill if I find the water will? And then, let's see. Also, oh, if I get the old camper and some more loose parts, I know where that old camper is! Oh, Scrap Heap has high hopes for reviving the Grove's own Curiosity Museum. The only problem, there's nowhere to put everything. Find and bring back a fitting structure. Then the relic hunting can really begin in earnest. Rumor has it an old camper has just been sitting idle in the central deep woods. Okay, that might be really useful to do too. Let's see, we'll have to see anything else we can potentially upgrade. Anything to make our lives a little bit better here. Meanwhile, I, I don't know where litter box's cats are, but we'll work on that. Wow. <gasps> I didn't even know this person was back here. That spooked me good. Crow's Nest Shop. In bygone years, Crow's Nest could always be relied on to have exactly what a green shield needed when, when they needed it. Times being what they are, however, their stock has dwindled significantly. Without the tools or space to expand, it's likely to stay that way for the indefinite future. Crow's Nest needs an iron cauldron to restore their shop to its former glory. Okay, wow, there's a lot of key things to find. And a bit of a spooky new person to talk to. Um, hello, I'm Wake. Why, hello there, Wake. You must be what all this commotion is for. I guess so. Uh, you... You have a bird on your top hat. Did you know that? Ha! <laughs> Why, of course. Her name is Worms, on account of that being her favorite food. She has another name once. I no longer recall it. And my name is Crow's Nest. Pleased to make your acquaintance. <laughs> That's funny, but I think she's a magpie. Oh yes, she very much is. Well spotted. So, named Crow's Nest, but you have a magpie who probably loves collecting things. This is amazing! Wow! But for some reason, Magpie Nest just doesn't have the same cadence. I'm the resident alchemist here. Let me know if you need anything regarding tinctures, tonics, crafting, or cooking. I've closed up early tonight, what with all the hubbub, but stop by tomorrow if you'd like to browse my wares. Whoa! Okay, will do! Say, you wouldn't happen to have any sprigs of camphor on you, would you? Uh, no. <sighs> worms seem to have a nasty itch. I guess you'll just have to stop pecking at it, right, Worms? Anything else? Oh, hey, we can shop here? If you happen to see a big cauldron lying in the deep woods, could you send it to the grove? I could use the extra space to produce more resources. 
Oh, cool. And we can get an oopal. So we can actually get these little apples, red, juicy, and delicious. Shaped like a heart, this common fruit provides mild healing benefits. I'm going to go ahead and buy a couple because that sounds kind of amazing. And nice to know that little bits of scrap are kind of the trade around here. Well, wow. Heck. And there's a little thing in the way and there's a whole bunch of cool like journal notes over there. Oh, and here's a piece of ivy. I didn't even see this before. It lets us kind of sneak back here. I got it. Oh, wow. This is just so amazing. Finding all of these little nooks and crannies, getting weight comfortable with being a member of, well, the Green Shield Order. So many things that we could probably improve on and make it better for everybody. And a safe place to stay so that we don't have to worry about being out with the Never at night. I'm loving this, you guys. But all right, I'm going to go ahead and let Wake rest. And then tomorrow, I think we might actually go ahead and search for some of these key items before we push ourselves too much further and try to find more places where we might be able to run into the other green shields. We'll have to see how things go. So if you guys could, do please leave a like to help us spruce up the Green Shields main camp. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!